and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some discard aggro to start off patch 1-6. It was just went live just a little bit ago and so we are going to be uh, playing all uh, decks that are affected by the patch update and it should be a lot of fun today. We're going to start with an arena bookie deck, brand new card. Um, these aren't brand new cards, but you know what I mean. <laughs> they just got updates, so now it was a 3-mana 2 and now a 2-mana 2-2. Two two. Let's see how this is. This is going to be my first time playing Arena Bookie, to be completely honest. I never put it in a single deck before, um, but now we're going to be playing it here, and we're also going to be playing a Twisted Bookie deck later. So yeah, so round start, discard your lowest cost card to draw one. That'll be pretty interesting to try out. Um, we're going to be pairing that mostly with Draven. Draven creates a uh, spinning axe for us. And so then at the round start, we can discard the spinning axe. It'll be the lowest cost card, and we get to draw a free card. So that's pretty cool. Plus, you know, we have things like Jury Rig, which are really good to discard. Flame Champa's Vision. So we have some good things to be discarding. Um, the other thing, of course, that's going to be different is the two discard units. We have Zonite Urchin that now you just discard and draw one immediately with the Urchin and with the Sump Dredger. You're just discarding one, drawing one immediately. So that, that should uh, hopefully make these these cards feel a little better. Um, and uh, let's see. And then, of course, we got all of our rummages. One thing... All right, so we're going to be playing three Augmented Experimenters at the top, and I like that. I think that Augmented Experimenter actually got a lot better with the with the changes to Sump Dredger and Zonite Urchin, kind of secretly. It may be a card that people aren't really thinking about. Um, whenever they're they're looking at those because you know how augmented experimenter was really bad be, because or it's never really bad but the worst part about augmented experimenter is that whenever you have two of them or three of them in hand you, you start getting multiples in hand well you can't empty your hand whenever and then um and then have it be your last card because this is the best when it's your last card and you get to play it you don't have any hands so you don't have to discard anything and you just get to simply draw three but if you have like two of them in hand well then you can't you know you always play one and then you'll discard the other well now um you know before you could you could uh you know just play your sump dredger and discard it one and you know that was fine but now you get to discard one and then immediately draw a card and so you're not so you get to keep keep your uh you know you get to still not be too far behind on card advantage you know you get to basically cycle them away and uh um i guess in this deck we, we call it rummage you get to rummage them away a lot easier so i think it's good to play a whole bunch of them because if you have one in your hand early you can just rummage it even if you just have the one augmented experimenter even like before you'd be like man i kind of want to keep that experimenter because it's so powerful well now we have between the urchins um the sump dredgers the and the rummages like we're and then even arena bookie discard lowest cost card draw one we can get a lot of card draw in here and so we don't have to really worry about discarding one early augmented experimenter because we'll probably find another one anyway what's up damon all right so that that's uh what we're gonna be doing here for our first deck this should be pretty exciting let's go play it in ranked let's give it a, a good test see how it goes we're gonna go play five games we're gonna be playing against a lot of Frostbite midrange likely is what I was even going to say before we got paired, and now we got paired against Frostbite midrange. Not too surprised by that. I kind of want to mulligan all of these cards, actually. Let's do it. Let's just send them all back. I don't really want to just keep a bunch of three mana spells. Okay, so we're going to discard the jury rig, draw a card. They'll block the 2-1, oh well. Suit up. Do I want to cast Suit up right now? Or do I just want to play Arena Bookie? If I play Arena Bookie, we discard House Spider and draw a new card. Hmm. Or I can play Suit up as a 4-4 and eat this thing. I suppose we could just play House Spider. That's an option as well. Um, no, nah, we're not playing House Spider. It's either Bookie or Suit Up. Maybe we're gonna go Bookie. Oh, would you look at these ads? 
I don't think Bookie's more mid-game. I think this is just fine to play early. So I think we can do better than House Spider. Look at that. By playing it, we get into Draven, which gives us the Spinning Axe Vision combo. Or Spinning Axe Flame Chompers. Let's see. And this is pretty nice because, oh no, we're, I forgot we're creating another Spinning Axe. I was about to say that my lowest cost card was going to be the Flame Chompers to discard, but never mind, we're creating another Spinning Axe. Uh, that's still fine, we'll just cycle away that Spinning Axe. We'll get a Vision. Um, I can't stop this Glory Seeker killing my Draven. We need even, like, more ways to discard a bunch of cards. Durr. Let's see, let's go with... Let's discard this Flame Chompers here real quick. Instead of discarding Spinning Axe. And now we'll discard another Flame Chompers. Draw a card for turn. Okay, and now... Would I rather go straight to attacks? Or do this Vision thing? No, let's do this. Play that. Discard Vision. This is, this is pretty powerful. This Arena Bookie is nice. We are getting some value with Arena Bookie. We truly are. Alright. I can play my opponent's cards if I want. I don't even know if this is really worth it. Like, especially this part right here. Like, if I should even challenge or just or just have, like, the 5 threes trade kind of thing. No, I'm not going to attack with the bookie. So, basically, I know this is a jinx is get excited. That's sad, but basically, we're going to play this other bookie. Now, round start, we have two bookies. So, we discard these two. Oh, it's each one discard one, then draw one. Mm, I was thinking, you know, like, I don't know why. I was th thinking, you know, we, we discarded two cards, our hand's empty, life's great, like that kind of stuff, but no, it didn't work out like that. Um, If I want to empty my hand, I have to play Get Excited before Draven. So I think that's what we will do. We'll go Get Excited first. Kill this thing. I would rather play Draven first. But to empty the hand, we got to do that. Okay, that was good. Got rid of that 5-1. It actually worked out. There you are. Dude, our deck has been really impressive this game. This has been pretty sweet. Guess you gotta be worried about decking. Um, we also have to be worried about frostbite. Come on, fish stones. I don't want it. When it needs I usually hire muscle. Why is it? It's like kind of lagging a little bit. It's taking longer to. Ready the torches. If it's a fight they want. I'll protect the villages. Mm. 
Okay. So they're going down to five. Um... I, basically, my options here are cast Rummage, get Super Mega Death Rocket, but that only does four, so that doesn't kill them. Or I can uh, get excited, kill the four three, so that then they don't get to kill Jinx. But then I can't, I can't actually. If I play get excited, I don't actually get to unload my hand. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Rummage and get the Super Mega Death Rocket, and. Wait. How did I not just create a Super Mega Death Rocket? What is going on? How did I not just get a Super Mega Death Rocket? Is that bugged? It's gotta be bugged, right? It's gotta be a new bug for the new patch. I just didn't get a Super Mega Death Rocket. The Jinx is bugged? What is this? This isn't good. Enrio says, this happened to me a while ago, didn't know it still existed. You talking about that bug? And how would you define a while ago? Two months ago? Yeah, I mean, I should have a, a death rocket. They should be at one. Some burn spells, I like that. It is kinda it is very It's very slow like moving them to combat, at least slower than normal. If they get catches. Yeah, we were we were close to decking ourselves. We were close. Well, I hope Jinx isn't just continually bugged the whole time. Cool. So we got we got a win, so we have four petals now. And we got all these things that we doing. Got that one. Earning so many rewards. You earn rewards here with XP. It's just crazy. Y'all need to get in on this event. You just get earn so many rewards now for playing. Oh, I, I understand Tizzle. I I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't take it that way at all. I didn't.
Yep, the event just started. Just like a half hour ago or so. I don't know if that Jinx bug, ha bug happens every game. I don't know. I've never seen it before. We'll, uh, you know, we'll just keep playing, I guess, and see if it happens again. I've, yeah, I've never seen that before. I, I don't think it would be every game, because I, you know, we've played Jinx, and that hasn't happened. Uh, Misfortune, Lucian, getting rid of all of these. I mean... We probably want to keep we want to keep something that you know to help to reward us discarding. Um, House Spider seems like it's like a reasonable card. I guess we'll keep House Spider. But I don't know if we need triple discard payoff with no discard cards. New recruit reporting in. A real battle. Those are like what movie producers? Okay, never mind. I got no joke there. <laughs> Say that's what they go. That's what they uh, deal with. They deal with real battles, movie reels. I'll keep working on it. Keep working on it. Um, I don't think I need to put in flame chompers. That was something that. You know, I wanted to see if I needed to put in Flame Chompas. Don't think we need to. Let's just go to attacks. Watch and learn. I'm, I'm ready. Okay, okay. What nightmares fear. That could be big. Uh, this could be kind of crazy. Could I empty my hand next turn? If I play Jinx this turn? Possibly. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Well, if I do play Jinx this turn, it's kind of likely they attack with Misfortune. Maybe I just play the Dredger. That's cool. That's cool. We can suit up the Flame Chompers. I'll write my own story. My gun does the talking. that misfortune Love you. the next turn. Oh well. It still, it was like a two for zero, right? Like I didn't, <laughs> it didn't actually spend a card for me because it, it drew a card. Uh, I guess so, like you can take it like a three for one. All right, do I want to play Jinx? Or what's my other option, Whirling Death? Whirling Death seems pretty good. That will level up Draven. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. You only have to strike with two total spinning axes these days. Round 
too much. And your face will stay like that. So yeah, I could have played Jinx. Unlikely with you around. Um but I mean that was a good that was good just in case they had like removal for my Draven, right? And then I would use like the Whirling Death in response. Now, do I discard Draven to level up Jinx? I think that answer is yes, right? Time for the money makers. The problem is is that Whirling Death would be like a really good card to have on defense, but whatevs. I want to level up Jinx and hopefully actually create super mega death rockets. Follow my lead. Hmm. Hmm. Don't love this. So augmented experimenter would be would kind of be better to play cuz we could kill Senna slash Lucian. But that would tap me out, so I wouldn't get a super mega death rocket. Yeah, I assume they're going to challenge the 2-1. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just pass. Let's just see what happens. So now, so we could, we could just kill Genevieve, and that's actually probably the better thing to do, is kill Genevieve. I'm on the verge of something. Hmm, I, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to just be playing the Sump Dredger, get my Super Mega Death Rocket, uh, do four to them, and then next turn try to get Super Mega Death Rocket again and do four to them again, and just worry about that. Hey, Quillabot. This fight is over. Yeah, it's pretty over. My gun does the talking. How easy on the hands? They're new. So many questions. Hmm. Just whether to go straight to attacks or play something, and I guess I play something. What are you waiting for? There's a blast from the past. Well, be Demacia. I chose I chose the scuttler first. Shouldn't I discard it first? Well, that's kind of lame. Let's do this. Sweet. All me. And you discard aggro looking one. good. Those well, are two of the top decks. That we just took down. Looking good. So it's, it's from left to right, so I can't, and I can't change the cards in my hand. So it's just going to be left to right. Looking good. Yeah! Exclamation point deck. That's how you get the list. There you go. Yeah, we're playing. We're playing ranked. We haven't haven't joined the new labs yet. But yeah, there's the new lab also. That will be fun to play. Oh yeah, we'll we'll be doing some River Shaper Fioras, like all sorts of challengers and that. Um, I play a lot of challenger stuff, so I'm I'm not worried about 
that quest, even though, you know, it's a hundred challengers. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, what's up? We're playing against Nick. Great streamer. Um, what's he doing? Yasuo Swain? That's cool. That's cool. Let's play these. Let's get these two. So, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I hope we don't, I hope Draven's not our, like, le least expensive card that we just, like, discard Draven because it's our lowest cost card. This looks pretty, like, that board looks pretty cool. We'll play that, we'll, we'll be playing this board next for the, with the River Shaper Fiora deck. Does look pretty cool. Um, it's a, so this is a donation deck. I didn't build it myself. So they, they are suit up in here. I I honestly probably wouldn't play suit up. I don't think that card's very good, to be honest. I I probably wouldn't play it. That's the only card that I don't like, though. Everything else I've liked. Please don't have the deal four. Please don't have the combo. No. That's bad. You suck. My money, my fools. <laughs> That's not bad. You take payment? Sorry, Arena Bookie. Just gotta start clearing out cards. I think I'd rather play Jinx. You know, it's either Jinx or or you know, or go House Spider and then Urchin with Vision. I think I'd rather just play Jinx. Uh, I don't know. DK, um, Ezreal Karma or um, Deep, like what what is favored between those two matchups? I don't know. That those are neither decks that I play that often, to be honest, and so I don't have I don't have a ton of experience with that matchup, so I don't want to uh, just speculate. Um, okay, so good. So I still have enough mana for get excited. I think I'm. I think there's a good chance. We'll kind of see if they go straight to attack or not. If he does, there's a good chance I'm just gonna play this experimenter and try to kill that thing. Okay, just go straight to attack. So that's not good. I'm just gonna play this. We don't get the best value out of all of our cards. I'm gonna try to kill that. It's a bad play against Will of Ionia, right? Like if they if Nick's got Will of Ionia and he just bounces one of my things, then I just have to discard it. And that's sad. What science without a little risk? We are doing it! Sorry, I just have like a little bit of a cough right now. I'm sorry. I have a, I have a cough. Got me. That's 
second time with that combo. More Jinx. Anything for the right coin. Ugh. Use Noctian Fervor to take down that Minotaur Reckoner. Now it's a party. You pay, I fight. Hmm. Question is, you know, do I kill the kill the three two or do three damage to their Minotaur Reckoner? Um, I think I do three damage here. All right, chat likes the Reck the Reckoner. So I'm at 18 cards. The Surrender! Alright! Jinx has ruined them all. Even with the... Even with that bug to start with. Yes, I gotta challenge 100 units. I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah, that's a, that's a big time thing. You get a lot of pedals for that. That's an epic quest. And then these are, you know, this one's a normal quest, like win, win four games. That's all you gotta do. And I guess that's one out of 10 of the normal quests. And these are a couple epic ones. They're difficult. You gotta do this and that. You gotta do both things. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And that's just like, you know, that doesn't affect your normal quest. You still have your normal, you know, like your regular quests also. Those are just like extra special event quests. Um, you know, just getting getting more more rewards, more things to work towards. That's just only a bonus. Three and O oh with discard aggro. Jinx is looking great. And just the new discard cards. Honestly, it's playing better than I expected. Like, I was excited to play this, but it's playing even better than expected. We're gonna be playing a Yasuo Zed later, so not Swain, but you know, it'll be you know, we'll try out Yasuo with some of the new cart, you know, with the new Steel Tempest. Alright, get rid of suit up. Probably get rid of Experimenter 2. And I'll keep both of those. Sejuani Timo. This will be interesting. Arena Bookie would be a good one to draw. Thank you. Reporting in. When you want a job done right. Doesn't mean everything. Okay, so we'll um now I wanna draw a rummage. Yeah, I wanna draw a rummage. Rummage? Darn. We do draw a lot of 
cards when talking about... I guess I go another jury rig instead of vision. Let's see, vision, vision spreads out three power between these things. Go jury rig first. Man, look how... Man, if we would have just found a rummage, do you know how good a rummage would have been? If, like, we could rummage away, like, two visions or something? Ouch, that actually hurt. So, yeah, we are drawing a ton of cards, which is probably not great against Teemo. Like, our game plan here, maybe not great against Teemo. Ooh, get excited. I like that. I like that. And ready. Both? Alright, casting this on... Do it on the challenger? Or do I just want to do it on the bookie? And just make it more likely the bookie survives. Because then I want to, you know, go to turn, just discard this vision... We'll, we'll do it on the Challenger. 4-4 right. four, four Challenger, good. Have a mushroom. Have three. Yeah, 4-4 four, four Challenger, good. No! They killed the bookie. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Ugh. I don't love trading the 4 1 for the 3 1. The 4 3 for the 3 1. It's about to be a 5 3. would have suited up the arena bookie. It would have been a lot better just to discard that vision and draw another card, right? Like we'd have a free card. My Elnuk. Don't think I'm going to cast the house spider. Oh, man, now I need to cast this bookie. Basically, because, you know, House Spider would just take up too much room, and then I would just be playing the Experimenter over it, and it's kind of like, what's the point? Just save the two mana, spell mana that we could use for other things. Play Augmented Experimenter, and I am going to I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as what with it. Three to the boil. Alright, that'll free up board space for me. Darn. Trade I was hoping to make. Interesting. Time for the main event. Hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
when they'll die of boredom? Not really. Hoping they'll die of damage. Show them our teeth. So yeah, if they want, you know, they could eat one of my three ones with either the 5-5 five five or the 4-5, and I'd rather them eat it with the Sejuani and get that closer to having the Sejuani die. Uh, we played Luxwain. Yeah, we, we had a Luxwain deck a while ago. That was a, a deck we played before. Uh, just played it the one time. Oh, now my hand's not empty. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. You should try blinking. My name's Ben Terry. Sorry, Ed. I know the axe. There's Lux Wayne. Hey, look at that. Good thing we have the spinning axe. That's just good at deck building right there. There's Sejuani's at three out of five. We got six puff caps left out of our 22 cards. That was all planned. <laughs> And of course, if they try to like get excited, the Jinx, I can burst speed, get rid of the card in hand first. Just a level up Jinx right then. Augmented Experimenter. Not, quite. Not bad. Maybe. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. Hmm. I don't have lots and lots of cards. Worried about frostbite. May may have been the play to you know block and then and just whirling death whatever we're blocking, but I'm worried about frostbite. They only got the one card left. But now I'm not. I wouldn't be as worried about frostbite. Now they only have one card left. I have to try to get Sejuani out of here. I just have to. Um, you know, maybe... Like, I can't I can't play... I mean, maybe I could. I don't know. I mean, they are at 7 if I try to empty my hand. Okay, I'm glad I didn't just try to empty my hand and then go with the Super Mega Death Rocket. Alright, Axes coming right up. We'll take out two of their things. Um... Play this thing because it's the rocket. Come out and play. Save the homestead. Oh, that's right. Drake would have got me the axes. Do I want the axes? I probably want the axes, don't I? I would have targeted Draven. I could have gotten two axes, which, yeah. It's better to have two axes than not have two axes. You can empty the hand. So yeah, I should have targeted Draven. Gosh. This is kind of a rough matchup for us because we draw so many cards. This is rough. 
I mean, I can draw another three cards. Yuck. I mean, that's that's the play. Yeah, like these puff caps are real. Caps are real. Okay, so we'll have we'll get excited, discard. Gosh, I can't really keep Arena Bookie or Augmented Experimenter. Well, I definitely can't play Augmented Experimenter anymore, so I guess I'll just discard that. Uh, can I? No, I can't play that card, can I? No. Alright. Kill that thing. Um, you block there, you, you block here, you block here. I guess, I guess it's just technically better to block like this and this. Wait, do I actually want Jinx dead? So I don't draw two cards? Are you pooping? Uh, do I actually want Jinx dead, not Draven? This is gonna hurt for you. It's just, it's so risky keeping Jinx alive. Hey, buddy, what you doing? It's a hard decision. That is a hard decision. It's just too, it's so risky keeping Jinx alive. Now what do I do? The only I mean I have I have burn spells. Um I got burn spells. I play bookie, I draw two again. I don't want to draw two. Mathematically, we shouldn't draw two puff caps and two cards, but doesn't mean that we can't. If I would have kept Jinx alive, I'd also draw this other one, which could easily have a puff what cap. You, waiting for? you know, has like a 60% chance of having a puff cap or whatever, 67%. I, if I would have played Bookie, I also, again, would have had like a 60% chance of dying. Where's my money? If I would have played Bookie hey, last turn. It's just really, it's it's difficult. It's a tough choice with these. You own what you How much we want we to risk. This obviously didn't work out for me, so, you know, I, I wish I would have kept Jinx. This hasn't worked out for me. That is the question of how are we pushing two damage through. Mm, so, yeah, we would have we died. 
So keeping keeping Jinx or playing the bookie, we would have died. So this is what losing feels like. Sucks. Yeah, that's that's a tough that's a tough matchup because we really do rifle through so much of our deck, and so getting all those puff caps, and you know Sejuani just being huge overwhelm also. But like those those puff caps, I mean, I don't know. We took what like ten damage from puff caps, something like that. It's a lot, you know. That's a real deal. Um, I I. <laughs> I can't just say that, like what deck would you suggest after a patch? Like we don't, I don't know. Like we, I don't think anybody could have like a. I suggest this is the this is the deck you should definitely play. Like you know, thirty minutes after patches. Like that's not. You know, we all got to test stuff out. We got to try things and and everything like that. Now going into this, the best deck was Frostbite Midrange, and it didn't change. So you can definitely go Frostbite Midrange, but uh, we're still going to be trying other things. This deck's looked good so far through four games. I've been happy with it. Let's get rid of this suit up that I don't like. I could see Mulliganing Jinx from just from the opener, and just try to get like some lower stuff just from the opener. I could see Mulliganing Jinx. I, I definitely like keeping the Flame Chompers to go along with the Bookie. No one's the wiser. Eh. When you want a job done right. What do you do? Explosives primed. So what are they I guess they'll discard Chompers, not Jury Rig, I guess. Or sorry, I'm playing Jury Rig, but I guess they would discard Chompers, not Bookie, I think. What? Discard Bookie? Why? Lame. The party has arrived. Well, thankfully, the party has arrived. Coming right up. Mm. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? So basically doing this to get another three damage in, because you know this is gonna be a race. Gonna do this with the arena bookie. Uh, we're still creating another spinning axe, and so now we have we have this spinning axe that we'll discard to bookie to draw a new card. My whirling death not as good. Liked being able to use that whirling death. I think that would have been a pretty decent spell. I 
of like that we have this vision. Me. Now we're cooking. All right, Arena Bookie, you did a great job. You can be proud. No, I don't like that. Down. My money. That Arena Bookie did some good. Good trading for me, and got rid of an Omen Hawk and a Legion Grenadier. All that kind of stuff. Bow to no one. Hmm. <laughs> Don't like said one. Makes sense, Flash. Play Sejuani instead of Darius. And Noxus. That makes sense. Sejuani's super powerful. I think this is the only the only card I don't like in our list is this suit up. I think we can we can certainly find a more useful card. There, there are times where suit up like on the challenger, like that's really where it's the best. The suit up on like the flame chompers, like maybe it's not that bad. I mean, it, it, it's not that bad. Like it's not. There are worse things that we could play. It's just my least favorite card. Are we not playing Mystic Shot? I, yeah, that's a good call. There's no Mystic Shot in this list? Then yes, that should be Mystic Shot. I agree. Do you know it's here somewhere? Hearth Guard. Averosen Hearth Guard. Yeah, I agree. Play Mystic Shot over Suit Up. I like it. We were not supposed to get the rocket that time. That was not a bug. We had already emptied our hand this turn to level up the Jinx. We emptied it for the second time, so we do not create a Super Mega Death Rocket with that. So that one was no bug. Winter's claw strikes. QQ. Get those hype boats in, y'all, for QQ. One of my best mods. Getting that tier one sub, 19 awesome months. I suppose it's better. Oh, yeah, I was thinking like which that? which one would it be better to replace? Which I guess we could replace the urchin. Okay, well now we don't need to worry about that. I have insurance. Thanks, TQ. Thanks for that resub. Watch your step. That's our first sub of the day. Yeah, this deck has felt good. I've I have definitely enjoyed this. This is this deck has felt good. Yeah, that should be Mystic Shot. GG's. Four and one. Hey, Agent Iowa, happy patch day. 
Yeah, I'll take a, a nice four and one over in, in Mythic. That's not the name, Masters. <laughs> that was MTG was Mythic. Over in Masters. All right, we got, we got some kind of reward too, right? Looks like it, one out of 10. Did we get some kind of reward? Yeah, I think so. Let's go check it out. Spirit Blossom 2020. Looks like an icon. Cool, new icon. Yeah, 4-1 with the discard deck. We're gonna go equip our new icon. Cool. Yeah, new event, new new patch with new event came out today, and it's got the the whole the it's a spirit blossom thing. It's pretty cool. So now like there's like you get your regular rewards like always, and now you also get this event rewards. You can get free stuff, um, or you can you know pay. You can also pay gold for like the the premium track and getting the premium stuff too. And so you have just a ton more quests to do. That's pretty awesome and you know it's just it's normally free you can just pay you can pay more to get more rewards basically but it's free for everybody all right where's our discard aggro that was pretty awesome so yeah let's definitely that's the one thing to, to do let's get rid of those suit ups get some mystic shots in here i like that that's a good change um but yeah, besides that, everything else felt pretty good. I yeah, I think I think I would go to I think two Mystic Shot is fine. I wouldn't mind playing a third, but that's probably fine. Augmented Experimenter was awesome. Vision was awesome. Just yeah, this was really good. Like the Urchin and the Sump Dredgers definitely felt a lot better. They were a lot more um, satisfying to play, which was kind of the the uh, key to those. Um, and and this this went really well. No, I don't. I don't think this is a crowd favorite deck. Even though we do go wide quite a bit, I just don't think you, that you need more top end cards that just kind of are in your hand and cost a lot of mana because you're trying to basically cycle through a lot of cards in your deck all the time. Um, Arena Bookie was amazing. It was really really good. Um, yeah, definitely liked that card a whole lot. Um, yeah, this was this was uh, really good. Um, yeah, so give it a try uh, yourselves. Those y'all at home, let me know how it goes. Also, try try the two Mystic Shot. Let me know how that goes with uh, Mystic Shot instead of Suit Up. But anyway, that's it here for Discard Aggro. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.